Hey guys, my name is Walter and in two days I'm going on my first big motorcycle ride across Europe. To be completely honest with you, I have literally no clue what to expect because I've never done more than 300 kilometers a day on a bike. I'm gonna be going from Lübeck in Germany, crossing Switzerland through French Alps, ending in Barcelona. And then I'm gonna spend some time in Barcelona and go the whole way back hopefully. In total it's gonna be around two and a half thousand kilometers over the period of uh, six days. So it's not that much riding a day but still I have never done such a long trip and I have no idea what to expect. So in this video I just want to show you all the, all the things I'm bringing with me on the way. Also in the later videos I will try to show you which items are really unnecessary on the way, which items are really useful and is there something that I missed. So let's dig in. So on this side you pretty much see everything I'm gonna be wearing. I have my warm weather gloves. I have my motorcycle jacket, which is a leather jacket. Many people say that uh, you shouldn't wear leather jackets on the longer rides, but uh, this is all I've got, so have to go with what I've got. I have my back shield. This is very important for safety. Then I have some uh, warm base layer. That's how it's called. Also a sweater. This should be good for holding wind, but uh, we'll see. And then I have my nice warm big boys pants. I've tested them out in uh, the cold spring of Latvia and they're amazing. So this is pretty much everything that's gonna be on me, plus motorcycle boots as well, but uh, they're downstairs. All of this stuff that you see right here is gonna go into my side cases hopefully so first of all this is really excessive stuff i'm really into coffee i have like three four coffees a day so i took my own coffee kit with me this is an aeropress nice coffee a small cup and a thermos i'm pretty sure that nobody needs these things on the ride but uh, but unfortunately i have used to drinking some three four coffees a day so I don't want to be spending 20 euros a day on coffee, so I'm just bringing my own coffee. So that's coffee. Next, a bit more important stuff. Tube, tube lane, chain lube. Don't forget to lube your chain every 400 kilometers. So that means I will be lubing it pretty much at the end of each day. And motorcycle oil. If you're doing long distances, you probably should be taking motorcycle oil with you. Then some safety locks. My philosophy is that it's cheaper to use more locks than to buy a new bike, so I have two of these. Of course, rain gear. Uh, this, this bag holds my rain jacket, rain pants, rain shoes, rain gloves, just in case I get into bad weather. Hopefully we'll not have to use it. I'm gonna tell you about this one a bit later. These are all the clothes I'm gonna be taking with me. I have a pair of nice shoes because probably my feet are gonna get tired in the motorcycle boots. I have some socks packed in here. Then I have another pair of socks, two t-shirts, a pair of shorts, my nice panties, a hat, a pair of motorcycle jeans. These are good just in case I get hot in those bad boys. And I can also just take out the knee pads and uh, use these if I want to go out. A pair of gloves for warm weather. Sweatpants, you know, just, just because. Another nice sweater. Just if I want to go out or if I want to hang out in the hotel room, then I have a nice sweater. So those are literally all the clothes that I'm going to be taking with me. Um, since it's a six day trip, I don't think I need that much, but uh, I think that's a good amount. Next. This is my bathroom kit. It holds all the bathroom stuff, my toothpaste, toothbrushes, also a small microfiber towel and things of that nature. Then I have a bit less essential bag that I'm gonna be keeping in a very accessible place that holds stuff like uh, hand sanitizer, baby wipes, just in case I run into a baby on the way. 
napkins, and also a small towel just in case I need it. So another kind of excess item, this is a hammock, just in case I find a nice tree in French Alps so I can uh, rest a little bit, enjoy a nice view. So we'll see if I use this on the way as well. Then I have my tripod. Of course, this is just an empty bag because I'm using tripod as we speak. And these two bags are gonna hold pretty much all of my all of my technical gear, things like microphones, lights, hard drives, etc. Because I'm also gonna be working on the road, so basically I'm taking my laptop with me and all the technical gear as well. Then, of course, my nice helmet. The helmet has some GoPro mounts, pin lock, intercom, everything you need on the way. Of course, my backpack. I'm planning to leave it in the back case for the most of the time um, and I'm gonna be using it mostly when I just leave the bike and uh, that's pretty much it I am planning to fit everything into two of these Givi Givi how do you pronounce that I don't know um, but two of these Givi keyless side cases um, I think it's doable I don't have that much stuff so this is everything that's gonna be in the side cases or in the backpack. Now let's go to my bike. I'll show you what kind of gadgets I have on the bike and uh, the tools I'm taking with me and everything uh, that's gonna go under the bike seat, sort of say. Okay, so this is kind of how everything looks like on the bike. I'm riding a Yamaha XJR 1300 2012 model. Okay, so let me show you real quick what I have mounted here on the steering wheel. We have a GoPro mount that I can film myself. I can also attach it to my helmet so I can get uh, the video from different angles. I have my SP Connect smartphone mount. This thing is for handle warmers. Amazing invention. It makes all the difference when it's kind of cold outside. I have my USB charger right here. This thing I actually haven't tested yet. I bought it on Amazon for like 10 euros um, and it's supposed to be like a motorcycle cruise control. So kind of when you accelerate, you just put it like this and it should keep the gas going. Um, so we'll see, I'll make an, another video about this thing as well because I haven't really tested it yet. And actually have one other gadget um, that's meant for, for motorcycle cruise control, but I can't find it right now and I'll show you it later as well. I also have my back case and the side cases will go right there. And they actually are, they come on quite easily. You just kind of slide these things in here. So these are all the things I have on the bike. And uh, then I have a bunch of stuff under the seat here. So let's take a look. Okay, so as you see, there is not a lot of space right here. I have my tools right here some tools here and there and uh, let me show you real quick what is inside each of these boxes and bags okie dokie so let's dig in um, first of all this guy it's some kind of uh, is this a monkey wrench I don't know how you call it in English somebody who's better than English can probably drop it in the comments what this thing is called but uh, this is item number one I'm taking with me. Then of course some cable wires, a metal wire just in case, just in case something gets loose and I have to tighten it back again. Then I have a universal screwdriver thingy. I will show you in a second uh, why I take a thing like this. And this is the small tool bag. And this basically holds all the essentials. Um, so yeah, basically I have this uh, universal screwdriver thingy and whenever you need any of these items you can just take it out, pop it in and you're good to go. <clears throat> and you basically have like over 10 different tools hidden in here. So that's I think a pretty cool thingy. Next in the tools bag I have a bunch of stuff. I think these are monkey wrenches, right? Um, so I have some wrenches, uh, this thing again, if someone's better in English than me then drop it in the comments below what that thing is called. So basically they are just like uh, 
small tools that came with the bike when I bought it actually most of them came with the bike and I checked that uh, most of these wrenches are quite universal for all the items you would need tightening up or loosening up so that's the small toolbox then I also have this uh, tire changing emergency kit from Oxford I really hope I'm not gonna have to use it because uh, well I will have to follow the instruction because I've never actually done a tire repair myself uh, so hopefully I'm not gonna use it but I have it just in case and uh, last but not least hand cleaning cream and it actually works really well you can see that my hands are a bit dirty right now I just put the cream on and you literally don't need any water you just basically rub it on you rub it on your hands and then it just comes off itself so it's quite amazing if you if you're on the road so that's so that's basically everything that goes under the seat so the last thing that I couldn't actually fit under the seat was duct tape um, so I'm taking duct tape with me as well so now you've seen all my gear that I'm taking with me on this six day trip across Europe as I mentioned before this is the first time I'm taking a trip like this I've never done more than 300 kilometers on a motorcycle a day like ever so this is gonna be the longest trip and I don't know if I need all of this stuff I don't know maybe I've taken too much maybe I've not taken enough today is April 16 2022 I will try to post this video by the end of the day if you have already noticed some crucial mistakes that I have made please comment down below so I can make some uh, last minute adjustments. I'm sure this will be one heck of a ride so don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along. So make sure you hit that like button because that helps the YouTube algorithms to find motorcycle fans like you who might find this interesting and entertaining as well. So see you on the road.